We even tried to grow a chocolate plant once, but chocolate and I are just not meant to be. <laughs> Welcome to Seriously Serial, episode 234. Seriously Serial is made possible by viewers like you. And by Blue Legacy, a volunteer run nonprofit dedicated to bringing people together. Find out more at www.seriouslyserial.org. If you eat your cereal dry, then you're a snacker like our buddy Kohler. Or if you prefer with milk, then you're a spooner like our pal Spoony. <laughs> Every month, we post four episodes with a theme. This month's theme is... Classics with a twist. Mmm, I love a good twist. Yeah. Oh! Ooh. Now that's a good twist. <laughs> Chocolate caramel Captain Crunch? No way! Way. So, you know I have to say it. <laughs> Captain Crunch is definitely my favorite cereal of all time. <laughs> And you do love caramel. True! Especially homemade caramel. That's really good. But you are not the biggest fan of chocolate. Mm, sadly, that's also true. We even tried to grow a chocolate plant once, but it sadly died. Chocolate and I are just not meant to be. I'm curious whether or not the golden nuggets taste like normal and the round pieces taste like a mixture of the chocolate and the caramel. Mm, what if they were caramel filled? Probably advertise that on the box. Mm, good, point. good point. Did you know that caramel and caramel are actually the same thing? Really? Hmm. Pronunciation is the way we say things aloud. The sounds that letters and words make aren't the same all over the world. They aren't even the same here in the United States. And I'm not talking about different languages either. English speaking people often pronounce words differently. One of my grandmothers has the word pen as pin, for instance. And it's not wrong. She just has a New York accent because she grew up in New York. In 2013, a statistician who studies linguistic trends found that people in the western and northern parts of the United States tend to say caramel, but people living in the south and up into New England tend to say caramel. And in case you're wondering, a statistician is a researcher who studies statistics and facts. This statistician was studying linguistics, language, and how we say things. So I'm a little nervous to read these statistics. <laughs> it's going to be a very sweet dessert cereal. Yeah. So a serving size is one cup with 150 calories, 32 grams of carbohydrates, and 15 grams of added sugars. Oh my gosh, that is yeah. too much sugar. It's dessert for lunch, I guess. So it has kind of like the Captain Crunch of Crunch Berries kind of look to it. Mm -hmm. It smells very caramel. I'm not getting any chocolate. Hmm. Not getting much of a scent myself, but let's see how it tastes. Yeah. Mm. It's okay. very mild. I'm mostly just getting like an um, undertone of caramel. Yeah, same. I'm really not getting any chocolate. Yeah, I'm just kind of getting like a basic like Captain Crunch flavor of, again. Yeah, like like mm -hmm. it's had a slight caramel like taste mm -hmm. underneath it. Okay, the biscuits, at least for me, they taste the same as always. So Agreed. the caramel and chocolate must be in the these are the, I only guess the little ones that are flavored. Crunch berries. Just these little yeah. Crunch berries. Yeah. Let me try and get a spoonful of just the little berries and see if that makes a difference. Okay, I got a little bit of chocolate there, but. Any yeah, it's more. very, very subtle. They they might, but I would be very surprised if they use real cocoa. Mm -hmm. Because really all I'm getting is this slight caramel taste. They're not like bad, but you know, but for how sugary it is, I want this to be a pack full of like chocolate and caramel flavor. Yeah. You want a little bit more actual flavor yeah. for this dessert so yeah. Captain Crunch, I feel the original is way better. Mm -hmm. You know? So if you're gonna have a sweet cereal like this, I would go with normal Captain Crunch. Yeah, a lot of the Captain Crunch flavors we've tried have kind of had this like 
same like issue. Like for chocolate Captain Crunch, we tried a little bit ago. It like it was like super subtle. Like, it's any it's really a shame because original Captain Crunch or the Captain Crunch or the Crunch Berries is very good. But whenever they try to do flavors, everything just is a little bit too muted. Yeah. Yeah, I'm almost kind of wondering if like the berries have a slight chocolate flavor and then the caramel is actually supposed to be, come from like little pillows, the little biscuits. No, because I'm tasting it individually dry, mm. so it isn't in the milk at all. Mm. And it this tastes just normal, plain, mm. the original. And this is what has all the flavor in it, mm. even though it's very mild. I think I know the answer to this question, but is it making the milk chocolate? No, not at all. There's no yeah. chance whatsoever. Hate to say it, but I think I'm gonna have to give this a two. It's Captain Crunch, so it still has the, like good like little you know the little yellow piece is still good as always. But yeah, it's just very underwhelming. I, I might give it a one because although I do like the classic Captain Crunch pieces like this, I feel like I'm very disappointed because it doesn't give me the flavors I want, and because they have these, they don't have the crunch berries. <laughs> yes, Spoony, we're wrapping up. <laughs> Because it doesn't have the crunch berries, it doesn't get like any extra flavor, and so I feel like it's worse than the original Captain Crunch or the Captain Crunch of the Crunch Berries. Yeah, you know, I, I think the more, I think the origin of the moral of the story is just to buy original Captain Crunch. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone! Seriously Serial has moved to a new channel on YouTube, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and rewatch some of your favorite episodes. Because we make Seriously Serial for kids, YouTube turns off comments, but if you want to comment, then come post on our blog at seriouslyserial.org. Spoonie and Bowler respond to all comments within 24 hours. Seriously Serial will be back next Saturday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time and 7 p.m. on Thursday, November 25th for our Thanksgiving special. See you guys then!